Welcome to the party, pal. You're from the neighborhood master chaos back with you once again. Oh boy, it's time to prep for that severance sale. The site is down. It is no longer available for access or easy browsing. So your friendly neighborhood master chaos is here for you. I've got the site, and uh, well, why don't you and I browse? This is your must-have picks from your friendly neighborhood master chaos. Let's jump right in. Let us not waste any time. Your time is precious, as is mine. So let's dive right in. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what you will be picking up, or if you'll be picking anything up, because a lot of people probably will abstain from this sale. It is the nature of the beast. Let's take a look at it. Now, none of this will be on sale. None of this will be on sale. By the way, Siege is awesome. I do recommend that for Black Friday. Um, none of this will be on sale, 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 sale. Nothing, 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 nothing. Andy Milligan box set will not be on sale, and neither will the Eurocrypt, uh, which I don't recommend. Um, I moderate recommend on Milligan, but uh, I'm surprised those movies were better. Uh, Santa Sanger is amazing, but it's not going to be on sale. Not going to be on sale. And all the bundles are disappearing, or have disappeared, I should say. Uh, this will not be on sale. Neither will this, and neither will this, and uh, neither will scream in the streets. From here on out, we're in sale mode. This is going to be 50% off MSRP. They say SRP. I don't, I don't know what the actual term is, so, so keep that in mind. From here on out, it's not 50% off like the price. It's not 10 bucks for Attic Expedition. It'll be... Well, I don't even know what the SRP is. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. For example, do I recommend ex Attic Expeditions? I don't, but I haven't. I've, I saw it a long time ago, and I don't remember if it was good or not. It does not even have an SRP number. That's interesting. Never noticed that. Um, it doesn't even have an SRP amount. That's tricky. So they can honestly charge whatever. They could charge 18 bucks and say, oh, well, it's 50% off MSRP. I don't like that. I like that when it shows you what their what their MSRP is. So it's a, it's a little shady, honestly. But um, it is, But I, I do love Seven. I do respect what they do. But let's be honest. Sometimes it could be a little tricky. This is going to be on sale. I do recommend this. Tales of the Uncanny is a really, really good documentary. But keep in mind, uh, half of the interviews of the Talking Head interviews are Zoom interviews. So like, kind of like this. If you hate that kind of stuff, you're probably not going to be a fan of this type of movie. Um, but the content is so good, I highly recommend it. It's just a wonderful, a wonderful stuff. And it's a kind of a secret box set because it comes with bo two bonus films. They are, um, uh, one of them is silent, I believe, and the other one is German or French. But they're um, anthologies, so you get uh, three movies for the price of one. I mean, twenty bucks is not bad for a standard, but I don't know what the MSRP on that is. Let's assume seventeen dollars, maybe more. I don't know. Um, I haven't seen Castle of the Creeping Flesh, so I can't say. Horrors of Spider Island. Well, wait till I get to my do not recommend. Tomorrow is my do I my you must not buy do not buy picks, and then. Uh, after that, on, on Thursday, the day before the sale, I'll be releasing my uh, my list of what I will be buying for the sale. Cruel Jaws, well, wait for my do not recommend. So I'm going to be speeding through some of these, but uh, you know, feel free to make a list of stuff that you want. These will all be on sale uh, if you want. Enigma, there we go. Enigma is one I recommend. I think this is a really good Fulci movie. It's very interesting. It's very much a cut from the same cloth type of film oh here we go this has msrp or maybe that's the original price that's the sale price and then it's going to be discounted from that i don't think it's going to be discounted from that uh, i guess it remains to be seen but this is it cut from the same cloth as suspiria it has the same kind of feel but it's very much a full g movie if you know full g you know what i mean by that it's very strange i guess in a good way the beast must die fantastic Fantastic! I believe it's Amicus uh, horror film. It's a it's a who done it, you know, ten little Indians type of film. Really, really good movie. Amazing cast. I mean, you've got Peter Cushing, uh, Calvin Lockhart. Is that him? Yeah, Calvin Lockhart. Amazing cast. Uh, you got some interesting special features. I don't have this, but.
but I do have this on Blu-ray for something else, uh, somehow, or maybe it's a DVD. But it's not one I'll be picking up, but I do recommend it. If you haven't seen it, I think it's a solid one. Revenge of the Living Dead Girls is one I recommend. I think that's a really fun movie. Um, very unique. Let me see if I get... Uh, are these safe for YouTube? Yeah, very unique zombie movie. That's all I'll say. But I, it's, it's, a, it's a good one. It's, it's a very good one. I think it's very interesting. Let me see. What do I recommend? Oh, Blood and Flesh. This is a great documentary. If you don't have the Al Adamson box set, it doesn't matter. You can still watch this. This is The Life of Al Adamson, and it is fantastic. Uh, directed by David Gregory, who runs, um, of course, Severin. Fantastic documentary about the incredibly weird life and sad death of Al Adamson. Highly recommend that doc. Good stuff, man. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Peanut Butter Solution. If you don't have it, well, there's two here I'd recommend. I'll start with Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter Solution is fucking nuts. Fuck in nuts. One of the greatest weirdo kid movies ever made. You might recognize it from this cover. Um, I actually never saw it on TV or whatever. A lot of people grew up with this movie. I, I watched it when I was an adult, and it blew my mind. Such a fucking strange movie. And, uh... It, it's, it's worth a watch. It's such, it's such a straight... Oh, yeah, you, you need this movie. Peanut Butter Solution. Recommend. 100%. Must. I love this movie. Uh, I, I think it's getting... I, I don't think it's getting the love it deserves, but Vi is just fantastic. Amazing visuals. Creepy scenery. Um, just breathtakingly weird. I believe it's French. Maybe it's... Po no, no, I'm sorry. German. A uh, Russian. Russian. It's a Russian film, um, an interview with Richard Stanley about it. Looks like there's a uh, documentary about Soviet fantasy films. And then a short silent film. I actually have this Blu-ray, but I haven't watched it yet. I actually watched the film, I think on Prime, to give it a try. And it just blew me away. Beautiful, breathtaking, 100%. These two, get them. Get them or forget them. Gwendolyn, um, it's an okay movie. I'm definitely going to be picking it up, but only because of... Uh, Tawny contains an un untimely death, sort of in honor of her. A Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory. I like this movie, but I kind of like these black and white uh, monster movies. Um, 60s, right? I might be mistaken. I think it's a six. Yeah, 61. Um, it's a six from 1961. I kind of like these goofy. Oh, the soundtrack comes with the soundtrack. That's cool. Kind of goofy monster movies. Uh, it's not great. 100% not great. But it's better than, than Horrors of Spider Island. Paganini Horror. You know what? I, wow, they're both in stock with the soundtrack. But I don't need the soundtrack. Um, I don't even have a CD player, to be honest. Uh, Paganini Horror is a really interesting zombie haunted house movie. It's hard to describe, but Luigi Cozzi. Um, and it is wild, man. This is a, and, you, and you got Mr. Donald P. in the house. I don't know why I call him that, but that's, you know, if you know him well enough, you can call him Donald P. So if you know him, go ahead, call him Donald P. That's an interesting film. I'm actually going to be probably grabbing that because I don't have it. Oh, right here. I can't believe this is in stock. Killer Crocodile, two disc, part one and part two. Part two sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck. It's just not as good as part one. Part one is a masterpiece. One of the best low-budget giant uh, uh monster movies because look they have an actual giant crocodile prop it is fantastic oh creepy fantastic scary that kid is traumatized oh it's a good movie get get the two pack you might as well have both of them why the hell not why the hell not okay the uncanny if you like if you like uh cushing and again donald p in the house you got a region-free Blu-ray here. The Uncanny. This is... Uh, it's an anthology, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a, it's a horror anthology about... Uh, um, Cushing's character is writing a book about uh, how evil cats are. So he's talking to his publisher all about it. Not a lot of special features on there, if you can... I'll show you. Only an interview with one of the actors. It's fine. The movie's really kooky. Really a lot of fun. I do recommend The Uncanny. I like this movie quite a bit. If you like anthologies, it's it's a unique one. And, and Cushing is just excellent in that movie. Oh, okay, let's talk about the Filipino horror hemisphere films here. We've got Brain of Blood. I'm not going to click on them, but uh, you'll just see. Brain of Blood, Blood Drinkers. I got this in the box set. 
Curse of the Vampires, and there's another one, but I guess that one. Where is that one? I don't know where it went. But these are these are fun movies. If you if you like these low budget hemisphere Filipino horror movies, I think Brain of Blood is my favorite. Look how gory. I mean, you know, it's cheesy gory. Blood Drinkers is okay. It's okay. Um, Curse of the Vampire is my least favorite. But um, if you're going to get one, I'd say start with Brain of Blood. That's a really fun movie. But uh, moderate recommendations for the other two. Blood Drinkers and Curse of the Vampires. Invasion of the Blood Farmers. This is a good movie. This is a really fun movie. Very different kind of... Uh, well, I don't want to give it away. But um, it's a bloody, a bloody little roughy 70s movie i really enjoyed this uh film it, it's it's really really good um oh roberta finley oh my god i had no idea that they were involved that's interesting i, I never noticed that anyway you got uh, some special features here pretty good well, the movie itself i think is pretty wacky that's a lot of fun i do recommend invasion of the blood farmers i think it's a good one a uh, moderate recommendation for skinner it's okay i'm a tracy lord's nut so i love Seeing Tracy and anything, um, and Ted Raimi is really good uh, as the killer. There he is. Um, it's an interesting film. It's a very much a slasher serial, uh, more of a serial killer movie because you know who the killer is in the beginning. Not great, but uh, it's worth a moderate recommend for sure. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, here we go. We got Mad Doctor of Blood Island. This is another um, Eddie Romero Filipino horror kind of thing. These are all good. I really enjoyed these movies. Mad Doctor, Brides of Blood, also known as Island of Living Horror. Uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, and Terror is a Man, also known as Blood Creature. That's a good movie, too. Um, I like all three of these. Those are recommends for sure. Let's see. Uh, Horror Party Beach. Again, it's I, I like it, but I kind of like this kind of bullshit type movie. <laughs> um, it's exactly what you think it is. You know, kids on a beach throwing like a beatnik party, and then these little monsters with like hot dogs in their mouths show up and attack. It's the first ever monster musical. Oh, I did not know that. I don't know if that's 100% true or not, but... Um, you get a documentary retrospective. You get an uh, interview with band members. And uh, Tim Sullivan talks about uh, the film, I guess. And then director Del Tenney interview. Really fun movie. But you, you, you need to know what you're getting into with that one. Changeling, I mean, come on. If you don't have this, this is one of the great Haunted House movies. From the 1980 classic uh, starring George C. Scott. Creepy ass. Haunted House movie. And for you Scream fans, this is Nev Campbell's favorite scary movie. Uh, love this movie. Really cool movie. It's slow burn, but it's got some really incredible visuals in that. Uh, and there's two versions of it. There's regular and then slipcase. It's up to you if you want the slipcase. Whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, Zombie 3, I think, is my favorite one. I, I get them confused. Three and, you know, three and four just kind of mixed together. Is this the one? It's hard to tell. I think this is the one I really like. Zombie 3 is really fun. Really, really fun movie. Great. Yeah, this is the one I really like. Soldiers just walking through a jungle. And there's just a ton of crazy zombie shit happening. Actually, I don't think I have that on Blu-ray. I think I might pick that up. Zombie 4, After Death. I don't recall this one. Is this the one? Wait, maybe I'm, thinking, maybe I'm getting it mixed up. Um, blah, 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 blah. This might be the one I'm thinking about. Fuck it. I'll buy both. I'm going to get both. <laughs> but uh, I, I recommend them if you're... Just, they're definitely better than Zombie 5. Killing Birds put out by Vinegar Syndrome. Awful, 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 awful. Those are better. Those are better. Emmanuel. She's not an Emmanuel guy. Uh, Asylum. That's a really good one. This is my favorite, actually. My favorite um, anthology film. It is so good. So creepy. All the stories are winners in this one. Let's see. Look at the special features here. Audio commentaries. Interviews. I mean, there's so much. So much. Very exciting. I hi highly, if you don't have it, I highly recommend Asylum. Number one pick, actually. I forgot that they put that out. That's so good. So good. 100% amazing. And now the screaming starts. You know what? I don't have this. Well, I'm going to add that to the list. 
but it's just it's uh it's another anthology from amicus you know what i'll grab that too but i'm not doing what i'm grabbing i'm doing what i'm recommending devil's reign yes if you don't have devil's reign you got to get devil's reign this is a great 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 demonic thriller amazing cast in this uh i mean ridiculous cast william shatner this is ernest borgnine this is Ernest Borgnine. A little bit of a spoiler, but it doesn't matter. So good. And uh, uh, yeah, Tom Skerritt, um, John Travolta is in this, like a little cameo. I think it's his first movie. Look at this for a while. Look at the special features on this. Nice. It's pretty dang good. Oh, Daniel Roebuck on Devil's Reign. I, gotta, I never saw that feature yet. I gotta watch that. I love Daniel. He's a good guy. Uh, archival interview with William Shatner. Nice. Um, great movie. Great, great, great. Devil's Reign. And Asylum, if you don't have it, grab those. Those are 100% musts in my, in my mind. Let's see. Did, did, did. Blackenstein is okay. I mean, it's fine. It's not as good as Blackula. It's, a, it's, it's dumber than Blackula. It's okay. Moderate recommend. Moderate recommend on Blackenstein. Let's see here. Oh, Drive-In Massacre, I really like. If you like slashers, this is a really fun one. It has a weird ending, um, but it's got some real great gore, some really interesting kills. I think Drive-In Massacre, you can't go wrong. That's a good movie, if you like slashers. Wild Beasts, they you know recently put out a lot of like killer animal movies. Wild Beasts is uh, one of their older releases. This is... $18 currently, and I don't know if this is their MSRP or this is their MSRP, but it'll definitely be cheaper than, well, they might. Actually, I'm interested. I'm curious. I'm going to go back and see if that's actually cheaper if it's still $18 during the sale. Hmm, that's interesting. If they do that, that's kind of shady. Um, a Wild Beasts is a really good monstrous run amok, end of the world kind of uh, a movie. Uh, uh, creatures in a zoo, something I forget what happens, but they go nuts, and um, it's a good movie. Burial Ground is one of the best zombie movies ever made. 100% get this. Uh, look at this 20 bucks with the slipcover. Hopefully, it's cheaper than that for the sale, but 20 bucks is still pretty dang good. One of the best zombie movies ever made. Non stop action. Let's check out the special features here. Lots of stuff. Looks like they still have that sleeve. Um, interviews with the producer, interviews with the blah blah blah, festival Q and A, lots of good stuff. One of the best zombie movies ever made, hands down. You like zombie movies? You haven't seen Burial Ground? Do yourself a favor, get it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. If I'm not pointing something out here because I have not seen it or I do not recommend it, so if I'm passing something you like, that's why. Uh, so let me know. Give me some recommendations and stuff um, that I should get. Uh, the Sinful Dwarf. Remember, two-way conversation. I'd love to hear from you guys. The Sinful Dwarf limited edition Blu-ray, eighteen dollars. Now even more depraved. This is a fucking strange movie. It's about a little dwarf who keeps women trapped for prostitution, like like sex slavery, and he's like the pimp. It's a nice, quiet place. You see, it is a nice soft bed. <laughs> Kind of need it, you know what I mean? Uh, you kind of need it. And then it looks like you get um, another film, The Blue Balloon. I didn't know about that. Uh, and you get some kind of a sex film excerpt. The Seven Con Controversy feature on the lasting effects of Sinful Dwarf. That's interesting. Um, some good shit on this, man. Uh, I, you know what? I don't have this. I have the DVD. I'm, I, I might upgrade. Ah, it's such a fucking awful movie, but it's awful and like a yucky movie, but it's so iconic of Severin. I might grab that. I might grab that. Let's see. I wonder, is this still in stock? Oh, it is. I might grab this. Axe and Kidnapped Coeds. Harry Novak presents. Can't recommend it because I don't know it. But um, I'm glad that that's still in stock. Oh, what happened? Okay. Oh, and we're back. Okay, uh, here we go. Let's see. What do I recommend? Turkey Shoot. That's a really fun, you know, uh, most dangerous game type of film. Australian exploitation action picture. That's a really fun movie. Steve Rails back. Olivia Hussey. What are the features on this? Well, that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit of features there. 
Brian Trenchard Smith has made so many good movies. Commentary with him. I recommend uh, Turkey Shoot. This is a very just like a three disc edition. This is very good. It's a documentary about how Richard Sennett got kicked off of um, the island of Dr. Moreau and how he sort of tried to stay in the picture. This is a very interesting documentary. You know, say what you will about Richard Stanley, what's happening with him recently. and But the story is very interesting from a filmmaking perspective. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of uh, bonus audio CD. It looks like there's like a ton of stuff. Richard Stanley reads The Under Dr. Moreau. That's interesting. CD wrong. I don't think you need that, but... Um, this is a very interesting documentary. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. You don't need the three disc this one is uh, 18 bucks and it will probably be cheaper that's a really good documentary to check out now these are i'm not a big just franco guy but these are two classic franco titles that should be watched because mainly because soledad miranda is beautiful 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 girl and she's naked quite a bit two uh saucy vampire films starring a really beautiful woman uh yeah 100% get these. Yeah, they're, 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 they're worth it, and they still have limited editions if you like that kind of stuff. I would suggest Nightmare Castle, um, but this is sort of available like 100 times. But you get two bonus features, Castle of Blood and Terror Creatures from the Grave. I think those are re-edits of the same damn movie. Uh, Nightmare Castle is really good. I really like it. Uh, but, it's again, it's... You have to know what you're getting into. It's like a black and white castle movie. Packed with extras, including two more full-length Barbara Steel Shockers. Okay, so they're different movies. Okay, good, good, good. That's pretty good. That's pretty dang good. Three movies for the price of... Well, technically, you probably get three movies for that price. But, you know, for the sale, I think that's a grab. That's a grab. I, I would recommend that. These were two of the earliest Vinegar Syndrome titles that, um, I'm sorry, seven titles that I was aware of that um, were sent to me as screeners back a long time ago, back in the day. Dead Kids and Thirst, I believe they're both exploitation movies. I don't remember them well enough, so I can't say that I recommend them. Um, yeah, can't really say. Oh, and House on Straw Hill, that was another one. They're okay. I remember Straw Hill being very much a you know, slow burn type of movie. It uh, looks like we're at the end. Um, the last recommendation. What is a Shanti? I don't know that movie at all. That's interesting. Uh, what a cast. Interesting. Okay, Birdemic, my last recommendation. This is ten fucking dollars right now. For the sale, it's gonna be five bucks. Get Birdemic if you haven't. I mean, it's obviously a shitty movie. Obviously. <clears throat> but it's also amazing. And as a film fan... You owe it to yourself to at least have this on your uh, on your shelf. Um, movie head, the James and Win. That's how you pronounce that, by the way. Win. Uh, audio commentary with the director. Audio commentary with the stars. Deleted scenes. I definitely want to see more of this movie. I have this. I recommend you get it. Birdemic, Baby Shock, and Terror. Absolutely recommended. Okay, that's it, pal. I hope you liked going through the uh, website with me and making your list. Uh, this has been my recommendations for the Severin Nukes the Mid-Year Sale 2021. Coming up very soon, in a matter of days, as of the recording of this video. So I'm hoping that you're making your list and checking it twice. And while you're at it, make sure you subscribe to your pal Master Chaos here. Drop me a thumbs up as well. That helps the video very, very much. Um, I will be bringing you site tours this entire week tomorrow we're gonna go through the site and discuss the stuff that you probably shouldn't buy most likely you won't enjoy so i'll give you my thoughts on what you should probably stay away from again obviously things are subjective this is my opinion i'd love to hear yours in the comments down below so make sure you leave those comments let me know what you recommend and then tomorrow we'll talk about what you don't recommend and what i don't recommend and then the next video Thursday before the sale starts, we're going to be talking about what we're all going to buy. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I think, uh, whoo, boy, we're going to spend some money. Not as much as I, I thought initially, but we're going to spend some money. And let's spend that money together. My friend, thank you so much for your time. I love you very much. You mean the world to me. I hope you're well. I hope wherever you are in the world, things are happy and you're healthy. 
I wish you the best. I love you. I love you just the way you are. Remember that. We'll talk soon. This has been your friendly neighborhood master of chaos. Signing off for now, because I remain to be continued.